Welcome back folks to Only Honda Snowblower channel on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to do an impeller kit on my HSS 928 snowblower without removing the augers. Now I have another video on the older machines where I take the augers out because I like to kill two birds with one stone. Service the augers you know, weld up the, the shear pin holes if they're, if they're egg shaped. There's all kinds of work you can do with the auger gearbox and the augers if the augers are out. But people have been asking me, hey, how can I do it? You know, I watch these other YouTube videos and a lot of them make me laugh because, you know, the owner, he put the kit in his uh, machine. He's done one kit, you know, so he, he films how he did it. You know, you, there's all kinds of videos on YouTube on how to do this but I've done about 40 or 50 of these and you know I mean I kind of made all the mistakes you know what I mean so I have a pretty simple way to do it a lot of these guys they make it more complicated uh, than it should be so let me show you what I do really quick here at the end of the video I'll put a link if you want to take the augers out and it's more involved you can watch that one too but this is pretty this should be pretty short and concise okay so what I did I already put uh, the impeller kit on two of the blades but I'm gonna I left the third one out so I can show you how, how I do it so the first thing you have to do is take the shoot off it's not too difficult it's held on with a with a keeper here down here we'll take this off and I'll put it in my magnetic tray well wait a minute you gotta take the cover off too it's a little bit easier if you take the cover off. It's only one, two, three, four, five. It's six little bolts. You unplug the light, and the cover comes off. It just makes it easier for to take the chute off. So I got the chute off. set that aside so you don't kill yourself okay now what I did I'll, I'll, I'll get I'll do some close-ups in a minute what I did was I I set the, the uh, paddle the fan not the paddle the fan where I want to put the kit in where I want to put the kit and uh, regarding kits uh, if you're only doing one or two machines I highly recommend you buy the kit. You can buy the HSS kits online. I think they're $30, $35, some or more. I usually make my own because I, I do 10, you know, I make 10 kits at a time out of, you know, uh, stock materials like uh, conveyor belt, you know, rubber, or I cut my own uh, backing plates and then I buy my. Uh, stainless steel bolts, uh, bolts and nuts online in bulk. But the kit comes with all that. So buy the kit, it just makes it so much easier. Now I, I put the fan when I want it. And you know, nice thing about taking the cover off, you can check your shooter motors, you can check your belts also. That's just a side comment there. I set, I set the, uh, fan to where I want it and I just put a 2x4 in the augers to block it. Now it's blocked. It's not going to go anywhere so I can do the drilling and everything. So I take the backing plate. Now I'll put all the tools you need. It's not much. Uh, 3 8 inch, uh, no quarter inch drive, 7 16 socket. I'll put it all in the in the uh, description, one and quarter inch uh, uh, HSS cobalt uh, steel drill bit, 
and just a couple other things which I'll show you and everything is going to be in the description of the video okay so this is the backing plate this is what the kit comes with the backing plate it comes with the you know the rubber so this is the rubber paddle it comes with the stainless steel uh, hardware and you're also going to, I also recommend cutting oil to make your cutting very uh, much easier. Here's my electric drill. It's got a 12 inch uh, extension on it. Huh, it's, it's loose, so I got to tighten it up. It's a 12 inch extension for your drill. It's, it's from uh, the company Irwin. I don't know if I can find this online. I got this at the local Ace, uh, Ace Hardware. And here's your quarter inch uh, drill bit for drilling through steel. So let me put that aside. All right, let me show you what I do here. Here's your fan. What I do is I put a put my blacking plate in there. Hold on a second. You see that where that back and plate's flush with the end of the the fan. You don't want it protruding past the end of the fan. Now you can drill your holes. Now I drill one hole at a time. Let me get my drill. It's hard to do this with one hand, but I just put the drill bit on there. I slowly start it. I use the cutting oil. Slowly start it so I have a, a, a start and then I'll take the backing plate out and I'll finish the hole. Now after I got the first hole done, then I'll do I'll put the backing plate in back in there and then I'll do the second hole. Now see how easy that is? It's it's blocked in. It's not gonna go anywhere because it's blocked in with that two by four. So once I have the backing plate in there, I take it out, set it aside. Let me get the rubber. Now I put the rubber in there. I hope you can see this. The rubber is in there and it's against the, the drum. It's against the drum of the bucket. That's where you want it to be. You don't want it dragging. You don't want it, you know, too far away from the drum. You can break it in. I'll show you how to break it in when we're done. But you uh, just put it at the edge there. And then I take a, snub, a, a stubby screwdriver from the bottom and go into the bucket there. I'll go in the... The bottom there where the holes are and I'll make a mark with a stubby screwdriver. You can make a mark with a silver marker or whatever. And that's where your holes are going to be for your, for your rubber. And then once you get your holes done, then you put your backing plate back in there. And you're going to see, I'm trying to line it up properly. This gonna you're gonna you're gonna see the backing plate and then you're gonna see the rubber where it goes up against the drum. You line up your holes. You put your stainless steel hardware in there, and then you're you're pretty much done. And then you can do the next fan. Okay, so when you're done with this, it's gonna be a little bit of resistance when you're when you're pushing the fan now. I, I gotta I gotta mention this you want to you want to pull the spark plug wire for safety reasons I should have said that at the very beginning but there's gonna be resistance when you're when you're moving the fan to the next fan to do the next fan now you might have to use another two by four to push it along but don't don't panic don't get too concerned 
you you a little bit of resistance is fine because when you break it in you'll be fine so you go to the next fan you do it and then the next fan and do it now when I break it in what I did I sprayed some of my trusty fluid film which is a penetrant lubricant it's what I use on the, the machine up and I'll slowly work it let's see da, 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 wait a minute I better <laughs> I better take this 2x4 out, huh? Otherwise, I'm going to be breaking shear pins. Causing some major damage, maybe. Try to stay focused here. Okay, turn the key on to start. I mean, wait a minute. Put the, pull it out. And I'll start it. This is electric start, so it starts like a car. Okay, once you got it warmed up, you want to slowly push in your auger handle. Did you notice the difference in the sound? It's the paddles that are hitting. Now they'll slowly wear in. It, it takes about uh, 30 seconds to a minute, maybe a little bit longer. They'll be worn in. They won't burn and they, and they won't drag. I don't want them dragging. And then that sound will slowly go away. It's kind of like Kind of like the baseball cards we used to put in the spokes on, the, on our bicycles when we were kids. So you break it in slowly. You put the lubricant, any kind of lubricant in the drum, WD-40, whatever you have that's going to uh, keep the, the paddles, um, rubber paddles from burning and melting. Okay, So they'll break them in that way. And then after that, you're pretty much done. Then you can put your, your chute back on. Put your cover back on and give it a test drive. So I hope this helps you. A lot of people have been asking me about this, you know, installing an impeller kit without removing the augers. So please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I try to, I, I read all the comments. There's been so many lately, I'm not sure if I can you know, respond to each and every comment. We also have a Facebook group called Honda Snowblower Enthusiasts that you can join. We've got a lot of great experts there that can help you with all questions Honda Snowblower related. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.